All right, so it's the end of the month, and I thought I would, to close off this month, uh, I'd share a little bit of, well, not a little bit. I'll share how I convert 4x3 video to 16x9 aspect ratio. Um, it's really not much of a conversion, actually, to be honest. We're just zooming in. I was inspired by uh, um, Devin Supertramp's How to Edit in Premiere. Um, video and well this is not a copy of that in any way but anyway uh, this is just something I've done a lot of course it's always nice to have it already in 16 by 9 but if it's not this is uh, this is what I do so now I've learned the numbers so 100% here on the scale will put it at about well right where it is but because these are now you say, why didn't you just put this in a 4x3 sequence? Well, most people's screens are not 4x3. I do have one monitor here that is, and one that isn't, which is the one you're seeing here. Um, and so I figure 16x9 would be the most uh, com uh, rec not recognizable, but the most compatible with others, other people's screens. So we're at about 135. So you kind of scale it up. So basically I've just zoomed in. And uh, and there it is. Wow, that was pretty simple. And then what I do, uh, I, I, I'm doing this, I have a shortcut. Okay, so I just copied that. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm pasting the attributes. So there we go. This comes in really handy if there's three of them in a row, and uh, which I have because I did a... Um, this is the weekly sermons that I work on, but there was a 21-part series, and sometimes there were three clips here. And the reason they're in clips is because this is from a DVD, and it splits the files automatically. But there tends to be about a one-second gap in here, um, which is why we uh, switched to using the, uh, the camcorder. And camcorder does not... Um, let's not have let's see, let me get one where you can actually see it okay well, it's covered here but let's uh, let's go over um, there is no gap even though you even though you can see one there there's there's like no break it doesn't miss any of the sound which is nice I, I don't like having the one second gap in there because that's just uh, bothersome okay so Another thing I do is folders, of course, organization. So I have all the folders here. And uh, it's an unfinished project. I have lots of those. And so in here I try to keep all the names, which is basically just what shows up. Um, let's see if I can put one in here just to show it up. OK. There we go. Goodness. So that's. So name tags are, I call them name tags. They're, they're actually called lower thirds is the proper name for those. Uh, so lower thirds. And then I finally decided to put end credits in sequences, which is why I like nested sequences, which basically what those are is like this here. I can take that and uh, um, I can drag it into the timeline. And there it is. The sequence, whoops, I can't really see that. So, oh, another thing. There we go. And so, yeah, you just... Yeah, it comes in handy. Instead of having to create the end credits every time, I just nest that sequence and all I change is, is this part that has actual names in it. So, um, let me know if you'd like to see a... Uh, video on editing, video editing. I know I'm mostly a sound guy, but I do edit a lot of video as well. So anyway, I just thought I'd share that a little bit. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next month.